Hello, my friends. May God bless all of you who believe. And I believe that those who participate of this live video every single day, I believe that these people believe. Excuse me. Let me remove the commentaries because it only disturbs those who want to pay attention to what is going to be said. Look, I was thinking, how can we materialize, how can we teach and guide people who are sincere and truthful? How they can enjoy the benefits of the promise of God. How can they be benefited, blessed with the word of God? You know, the word has power. The word has power. The word has power to build and power to destroy. It depends on the source of the word, meaning it depends on who speaks, who speaks. So, for example, we speaking in the case of Jacob and Esau, and especially Jacob. While Jacob was Jacob, his character was doubtful. It was evil. Why? Because he was born, he grew up, developed, we could say, with that feeling of taking advantage. That's why his name was specifically called Jacob, because he was born as Jacob. Jacob, meaning deceiver, smart, witty, and he tried to take advantage, and his brother the same, Esau. But, what would I like you to understand, for you to understand? That when Jacob crossed the ford of Jabbok and had his encounter with God, God changed the character of Jacob. God changed his nature, the nature of Jacob. He transformed that human nature, son of Rebekah and Isaac, Rebekah and Isaac, and transformed him to a son of God, making and putting in him the image of God himself for having an experience of transformation, meaning there was a transformation. There was a transformation. He stopped being the son of Isaac and Rebekah to be the son of God. The son of Isaac and Rebekah carried that distorted image, that evil character. And when we speak of an evil character, we speak dealing with the manner of the person speaking, the way they speak, because what they speak doesn't describe them because they are, they don't have a word which is fulfilled. Normally a person of bad character is like this. So what happened? When Jacob had that experience with God, when he emptied himself from everything, he emptied himself from his being, his selfishness, his deceit, his lies. He emptied himself, emptied himself from everything from which was within him. Because God revealed himself to him and transformed him into Israel, which is the new birth which the Holy Spirit does with us. When a person receives the baptism with the Holy Spirit, he starts to have the divine nature, 
That's why he can get before the Father, before God and say, My Father, My Father, because He is a Son. He is born of the Spirit. He is no longer a child of His parents. No, He stopped being a child of His parents to be a child of God, to have the nature of God. And when a person has the nature, the divine nature, which is born through the Holy Spirit, which is born of the water and the Spirit, as Jesus said there in John chapter 3, then the person starts to have a character according to the character of God. They honor their word. To have the character of God is to have the character of an upright person, an honest and sincere, truthful person, one who honors his word, one who fulfills his word. The given word is being fulfilled, not just in business, but above all, above all, in their relationship with their husband, with their wife. So between the two, between the couple, there is that freedom, that sincere freedom, because one knows the other, one trusts the other 100%. And this makes the difference in a marriage, which is the reflection of the marriage of a person with God, the covenant of a person with God in the case of Jacob with God there in the ford of Jabbok. He made a covenant with God. There he was transformed into a new man, new character. So from then, from that moment, Jacob stopped being Jacob, son of Isaac, son of Rebekah, to be a son of God and carried the character of God. To carry the character of God is to honor your word. Those who are of God, those who have the Holy Spirit, honor their word. Not just in business by giving the correct change, but they honor their word in their identity, in their behavior, their daily behavior. So when a person has this character of honoring the given word. They have the character of God because God works with the word. God is the word. God is spirit. God is the word. And for being the word, he fulfills his word. And those who are children of God are the word. They honor the word. They have the divine character. And this makes the difference between those who are and those who are not of God, between those who serve and those who do not serve God. So it's extremely important that you understand the power of the word. Those who are born of the water and the Holy Spirit, in the case of Jacob being born and born again and becoming Israel, those who are born of the water and the Spirit, as Jesus said, are of God. They are born of the Spirit. They are spiritual. And because of this, this person has an obligation, an obligation with their father to honor the pledged word, to have that character as the father. Very wonderful. Very interesting. So, this has nothing to do with religion. This has nothing to do with doctrines. This has to do with character. Character. Those who have character of God, they are trustworthy. Those who don't have the character of God are not trustworthy because they change their way of behaving. Well, Speaking of the subject, 
This campaign of Israel is for this deep down. It's exactly for this that people may not just be a believer in the word of God but they may be the word of God living in this world. They come to honor their heavenly father with their character, with their word. And people who are of this world and see a person of God, they see someone who say they believe in God, they demand character, meaning a person who keeps up with their duties with God. First with God, when they make Him first in their lives. First, they fulfill their duties with their loved ones. If they are married, they have a commitment with their husband, their wife, their word is yes, yes, no, no. So when a person is of God, then you can know. You can identify those who are and those who are not of God. Those who are of God have character. They have the character of God, the divine character. They honor the word which is is spoken, which is pledged, which is being said. So a person of God lives with this guide of being and having the character of the Most High. That's why Jesus said, when he spoke of the word, he said, he said, I am the truth. I am the truth. That's it. If he is the truth, then he is the one who fulfill his word. God also said through Isaiah, the word which comes out from my mouth will not return to me void. So when a person has the character of God, their word has power. It has the power of God, not human power, but power from God Himself to bless, to bless, and to curse. Jesus warns His disciples not to curse anyone, only bless. So we have the authority to bless or to curse. We don't even need to curse because those who curse us naturally will be cursed. They will be cursed. Because this is the promise of God with Abraham. So Isaac, Isaac, when he consecrated and passed the blessing to Jacob, when Isaac placed his hands on the head of Jacob and blessed him with the right of the firstborn, the blessing of the firstborn, the son who had to receive this blessing, his brother Esau who had to receive it, when he appeared, Esau came and said, My father, my father, you promised The blessing was mine. What was the blessing which he wanted from Isaac? What was the blessing which Isaac determined to Jacob? What was the blessing? It was the word. It was the word. Wait a minute. Let me read a scripture here which is worth you knowing because this is extremely important for us. When Esau heard that his brother had been blessed by his father, then he cried. 
he wept and the father as well also felt heavily because he was deceived by Jacob and having determined the blessing to Jacob which should have been to Esau then Isaac was extremely sad bitter because the blessing had already been determined to the younger son and not the eldest he was enraged with that and the eldest son came and said to him my father you bless my brother instead of myself you promised it to me then his father said my son I blessed your brother and I can't do anything anymore he is blessed meaning as a father Isaac if he did not have the character of God he would have said no I was treated unjustly oh Jacob the blessing is not worthwhile anymore I transfer this blessing to your brother no he couldn't do that because he had already determined the blessing to Jacob look at the power of the word my friend in the past it was like this men the men of God honored the word which was pledged and that is why that is why many people who claim to believe in God in the word of God they profess they proclaim the word of God but they're not blessed because they do not practice the word which they learned and confessed they don't practice they don't obey they simply use the word of God but they do not assume that word why because they don't have the character of God they weren't born of God they did not they were not born of God only when a person is born of God born of the Holy Spirit they start to have character of the Holy Spirit they start to have the character of God because they have the mind of the Lord Jesus Christ meaning the thoughts of the Lord Jesus Christ they have the mind of Christ which is the Holy Spirit himself so they have character the, he has character so don't deceive yourself my friend when you see someone speaking in strange tongues don't be deceived with that person because the devil also uses strange tongues to deceive people and make them to think that that person is of God because they spoke in tongues don't deceive yourself when someone says oh I am the Lord and they prophesy they start to speak in prophecies and try and they determine a word for you to marry so and so to marry with the other God doesn't work in this manner God works based on a word given and only those who have the Holy Spirit have the character of God to prophesy and make what they prophesy to happen because they will not be as an old prophet the deceitful prophet as they were in those days as well in the kings and the prophets there were many false prophets they were false because their word had no sustenance had no foundation no base no biblical foundation they tried they tried to influence kings with beautiful words they spoke what the kings wanted to hear but the true prophets those who were of God those who had the character of God those spoke the word of God and if the kings would not like at times the king the kings would take these prophets of God who had the character of God and throw them 
in the dungeon. Why? Because they spoke against the king. But the true prophet, the man of God, the one who has the character of God, speaks his word and he doesn't want to know about the consequences if they'll be harmed, if they're going to lose because they spoke the truth. No, they simply assume that word given, pledged, because they have the character of God. Did you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? Very well. So see, after Isaac blessed Jacob, Isaac blessed Jacob, and came the brother who was promised, who had received the promise, and the father said, I can do nothing. I blessed your brother. He's already blessed. Then Esau said, But is there no other blessing for me? My son, your brother will be the head. You will be servants. Your descendants will be his servants. And I can't change this situation because there he had already determined the blessing. That is why today you can verify. Before it was like this, but we don't speak about this much. But back then, we would come to our mother, our father and say, bless me, bless me. And our parents would say, God bless you. This culture of blessing the children, when the children would ask for the blessing of the father, it came from this time of Jacob. It was the Jews, the Israelis, the Jews, the children of Abraham, descendants of Abraham, who took this culture to the whole world. So at the time, they would get up, the father would come and give the blessing. We had to get the blessing. Today, this culture doesn't exist anymore. But, what does it mean to bless? God bless you, my son. God bless you, my daughter. It's exactly what Isaac did with his son Jacob. His son wanted that blessing. He received that blessing. See that during 20 years, Jacob had the blessing of the father. He was rich, prosperous. However, his character continued with the evil character, the bad character. And he went to the fort of Jabbok. And finally, Jacob emptied himself. He emptied himself from his will, from his sins. He emptied himself from his bad nature, his personal dreams, his personal projects, and he placed all of it in the hands of God, and God blessed him and made him Israel. Israel was born, meaning the man who had the character of God. So in this campaign of Israel, my friend, there is no greater blessing than you to receive the character of God. There's nothing greater. I know that the majority of people want to solve their problems. They want to marry. They want to be healed. They want a business. They want to be the head. They want to be this. They want to be that. But only the wise the true wise seek the character of God. They sought the new birth. They seek for a personal experience with the Lord Jesus Christ. And this experience is given 
when they receive the Holy Spirit. So there is nothing more precious, more glorious and rich than you to be the blessing. Who is the blessing? Better saying, those who receive the Holy Spirit. Those who receive the Holy Spirit become the blessing. Those who are the blessing have everything. And those who are not the blessing, they don't have the character of God. They weren't born of the water and of the Holy Spirit. Continue seeking blessings. Continue chasing after the wind. This is the reality. Jacob was very rich. Financially. But shamefully, disgracefully poor and miserable. In his character. Because of this, he suffered a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Until he was transformed by God in Israel. Many people who are in churches, many people who preach the gospel, many people who sing and praise God with their songs, etc. They use the word, but they don't have and they are not the living word which is God in their lives. They have not been or they do not have the character of God because they are not born of God. They were born of religion A, B, C. They were born of philosophy, born of the church of the pastor, but they were not born of God. Only those who are born of God have the character of God. And with this, you can count on because his word is yes, yes, no, no. And the ones who bless are blessed. Praise God. I have sought, I have tried, I have made an effort for you to be the blessing because this is the glory, the riches, the greatness which God gave me to bless those who believe in the preaching of the word, the word of God. Tomorrow we speak more about this. God bless you in the name of Jesus. But don't forget, prioritize the character of God. Prioritize the new birth. Prioritize the baptism with the Holy Spirit. Prioritize being the blessing instead of being a seeker of blessings. Till tomorrow.